Okay, so here we are coming into the park. This is Boulder Creek RV Park, RV Resort, right outside of Death Valley. We're in Lone Pine, California, about four hours north of Los Angeles, uh, off the 395 freeway on the east side of the Sierra Nevadas. This is gonna be a drive-through tour. And it's maybe a place you're interested in staying at. We got here last night at about 7.30 p.m. The park, as you can see, is a little bit empty right now. Uh, it is um, December, late December 2022, and uh, it's cold at night here. So this isn't the prime season for Death Valley, uh, at least staying here. For Death Valley, it's actually nice because the temperature is pretty mild. But all these spots are hookups, full hookups. They all have picnic tables and concrete pads fire rings. I'm going to just kind of zigzag through. These are pull-through spots. You can fit very big RVs here. I think some of the spots are big enough for 40 footers with a tow vehicle behind them. Ours is a 31 footer with a, with a Jeep being towed behind it. It fit no problem. Um, all the spots are dirt and they're not perfectly level. So um, site 62 to 82 is where we're headed. They're not perfectly level, so you'll have to bring leveling blocks if you want everything to be nice and straight. But they all have hose bibs, uh, you know, full hookups, sewer, water, electrical. They have 30 amp and 50 amp, so if you have two air conditioners on your on your RV, this can service both of them. During the summer, it gets scorching hot out here. So you'll definitely need an air conditioner in the winter. You need your heater. We've been using ours last night. A um, little tip is we brought a electric heater that we can just plug in so we don't have to use our propane. Since we have full hookups, we have full electrical. Uh, there was no need to really use the propane heater. We just used the electric heater all night and it kept us nice and warm. It wasn't too bad last night. It was about uh, 40 degrees, I think was the low. It does get a lot colder than that here. Last time we were here, it snowed. That was nice. That was um, about eight years ago. These are some of the pull-through spots. This is spot number 44. This is actually one of the smaller spots. This looks like this could still support a 31-foot RV with a tow-behind vehicle, but there are longer spots here for, for larger RVs that are towing. Here's the full hookups. Let's see, here's the electrical right here. There's the hose bib down here, the sewer. As I open up the panel, see it has 50 amp and 20 amp. Okay, 20 amp and 50. Here's the hookups. I think I said earlier there was 30 amp. Okay, it's 20 amp and 50. I stand corrected. Picnic table, fire pit. This is the fire pit that I was talking about, how it's adjustable. You can bring it lower, bring it higher. If you want to get your food farther off the flame or closer to the flame, there's trash bins all over the place, so you'll have plenty of access to dump your trash. Um, I have not seen a dump station. However, you don't need one because all the sites are full hookup. So you can just dump at your site or, uh, or wait, wait if you want yeah, for some reason, but all the sites have full hookups. You can dump, you can flush out your tank, you can do everything. Site 38 on my right, 37 on my right. This is the 395 freeway right in front of us. It's a little loud at night, not bad. I mean, you can hear the vehicles going by, but you really can't, it, it's not bad at all. Uh, definitely not enough to, to keep you up at night or anything like that. Here's some cabins on our right. These are pretty large cabins. They've got lots of windows. They've got air conditioning units. 
They've got nice porches. These look really nice. What I'm gonna say, this is a, it's almost like a house. I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna show you the cabins from the front. And here we go. You can see what I'm talking about. They've got um, windows on two levels. Got metal roofs, that's nice. Those will last forever. Spot 68 on my right. This is cabins. I don't see any numbers on the cabins, but I only see two cabins back here in this part of the park. Seven. Se oh, seven. Well, it says seven seventy-one. Like cabin seventy-one. It must have been seventy and seventy-one. Because here's spot seventy-two, seventy-three on my left. They do have propane here for sale. You can fill up your RV. It's a nice feature. There's a pool. On the left here, there's a playground. I'm actually gonna drive around and show you this playground. It's a cool playground. That's the 395 right behind us. All sorts of neat little amenity things here. Here's a fire pit. This is cool. Looks like you can come maybe cook off this. I think this is more though for um, community access. Everyone that's staying in the park can come to these. These are little swings, bench swings. They've all been made to look Western, emulate the old West. And there's a basketball court here, or a basketball net. It's kind of, it's a neat Wild West looking saloon type thing. It says saloon over here, but it's not a saloon. It's a storage shed. See, it says saloon right there. This is like a common area room, like a rec room, I guess, for all the guests that stay here. It's a nice, big, comfortable room. They have a fireplace over there with a big mantle. Piano and birds. Oh, hi, birds. Yeah. They're pink. Have you ever seen pink birds? So there is a pool. It's closed right now. Looks like it's gotten some rain. What? But during the summer months, this would be nice. Pool, right here. There's a pool. Oh, I saw you said pool. As you can see on the left, it's the... It's the main main store. They have all the necessities in there. They sell beer. And they sell, you know, food, uh, you know, campsite type food, camping equipment. Oh, and there is Wi-Fi throughout the park. And as we're here now, you can see there's not many people in the park. The Wi-Fi has been excellent. We can stream videos and stream everything. It's great. I don't know what it's like when the park's full, but right now it's fantastic. And this is our spot right ahead. You can see the silver and, and white RV. And we have excellent Wi-Fi reception. Okay, I'm gonna pull into my spot now. This was the park. I would definitely stay here again. This is actually already my second time staying here. And if I ever come back this way again, I would absolutely stay here again.